My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 40. Day, day 3040. 3 is to represent that we are in the third edition. Day 40. We're going to cover a topic, a straightforward topic, very simple topic of simple interest. Do you understand? Problem that we are about to solve is what you're going to find on page number 248, problem number 2.7.10. The question is very simple, the question is very straightforward. The question simply is what is the amount of simple interest earned? What is the amount of simple interest earned on the investment of? And in the book, there is only one problem. We are going to do four of them. We are going to do four of them A, B, C, D. So here, here, here's the first one. So the question one more time is. Question one more time is what is the amount of simple interest on on the investment of on the investment of ten thousand dollars? That's your part A. That's the that's the problem that appears in the book. Invested for invested for six months at six percent. So that's our part A. Here's the second problem. What is the amount of interest on what is the amount of simple interest on? on the investment of $7,500 $7,500 invested for two years at 5% here is problem number C I'm going to run, run out of room for D we're going to invest $3,600 for four months at 3% and finally problem number fourth problem, problem D we're going to invest a grand total of $2,000 we're going to keep it in there for three years and we're going to earn a simple interest of 4%. Let's get going, shall we? Let's get going. The first one. We have we have $10,000. Let's do it right here. We have $10,000 invested for, for six months at 6%. Now what we have to always remember, what we must always remember, that in interest rates are always expressed per annum. Interest rates are always expressed. Interest rates are always expressed per annum. Nobody should have to tell us that by the way this is six percent per year, this is five percent per year, even though you're only investing for four months, this interest that I'm showing you is what you're going to earn in one year. Nobody has to tell us this thing. It's understood. It is understood that it is three percent per year because that's how interest rates are expressed. So in the first problem, we're going to earn six percent. We can let's do part A on the top here. Part A, what we're doing here, we're going to earn 6%. We're going to earn 6% in one year. But we're not investing for one year. We're only investing for six months. If you're only investing for six months, you're not going to earn 6%. 6% in one year, that means it implies that we should earn 3% in half a year. Because half a year is what we're investing. We're only investing for six months, which is half a year. All we have to figure out is, what is 3% of the amount that we are investing, which is $10,000. Let's continue. So now we have to figure out, let's do it, let's do it right here. So we're going to earn 3%, 3% of 10,000. 1% 10, of 10,000, 1% of 10,000, 1 10, we know is $100. How do we know that? Because 1% of $100, 1% of $100 would have been $1, 1% of thousand dollars would have been ten dollars one percent of ten thousand dollars is going to be hundred dollars is that what we're investing yes we're not going to earn one percent we're going to earn three percent so therefore three percent i don't have the room here but if i well we can squeeze it right here we want to earn three percent we want, we're going to earn three percent so we just multiply both sides of the both sides of the statement by three three times one percent is going to be three times this amount that's all so three percent is going to be three hundred dollars all that's all we're going to earn a grand total of $300 in interest. 
Let's do the next one. The next one is right here. Let's do it here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna write here. Part B with what we're solving here. Right here, part B. So again, we have five percent. This is part B. We are told that we can earn five percent interest. It's understood that it's five percent per year. We keep, we are going to keep the money for two years. So if it's five percent one year, that implies it must be ten percent, ten percent in two years. But that's very easy. Ten percent of seventy-five hundred. Ten percent of seventy-five hundred is just seven fifty. Hence, hence, ten percent of seventy-five hundred. It's $750. We're all done. That's their answer. We're going to earn $750 over a period of two years because it is 5% per year since we're keeping the money in the account for two years and since it's only simple, simple interest, there is no compounding going on. We're just going to earn 5% one year of our original principal, psych 5% next year of our original principal, hence a grand total of 10%. 10% 10 of 7500 is simply $750. Let's do part C. Part C, keep in mind, we're only keeping it for four months. Let's do it right here. Now we're going to do Part C. Here we are told that we are earning 3% in one year. Unfortunately, we're not keeping the money in the account for, for one year. We're only keeping it for four months. And luck, as luck would have it, four months happens to be a third of a year. So 3% in one year, that in turn implies that we must earn 1% in a third of a year. Because that's what this is, four months is a third of a year. Let's see if we're done, 1% in one third of a year, all we have to figure out what 1% is. We know 10%, we know 10% of 3,600 would have been 360. We don't want 10%, we want 1%, so 1% of 3,600 would be 36, uh, $36. I just realized, I don't know why I'm making such a fuss. Of course it's going to be 36, because you just drop the two zeros. We want 1%, 1% of 3,600, just drop the two zeros, $36. We're going to earn 1% interest of our principal over a period of four months, and 1% of 3,600, $3,600 happens to be exactly $36. Let's do the very last one. Very last one, where can we do it? Let's erase this one, part B. And let's erase this one. And what was the last one? This is part C. Part B tells us that we're going to earn, or we're going to invest $2,000 for a period of three years. And we are told that we're earning 4% per year. But if it's 4% in one year, that implies that we're not we're not, we're not keeping it for one year, we're keeping it for three years. Well, if you're keeping it for three years, take this statement and multiply it by three. Multiply the entire statement by three. So we're not keeping it for one year, we're keeping it for three years. So one, one times three is your three years right here. Since we multiply this side of the equation by three, we must multiply this side of the equation by three. And it is an equation. A statement is an equation, a sentence. In English language, is is what we call in mathematics an equation. It's a sentence. It's a statement. So if, if you multiply one side of the statement by three, you must do the same thing. So if you're earning four percent in one year, we must earn twelve percent in three years. Twelve percent in three years. All we have to do is now figure out what is the twelve percent of our investment. Twelve percent of two thousand. Two thousand. 12%, 12% of 100, we know equals 12. That we do know, 12% 12 of 100 is 12. Everybody knows that. Therefore, 12%, therefore 12 of 1,000 must be 120. If 12% 12 of 1,000 is 120, that implies that 12, this in turn implies this in turn implies that 12% of 2,000 must be twice that amount, $240. Voila. What I was going to do actually, and I changed my mind, what I was going to do is continue, instead of rewriting the whole thing, what I was about to do is, 
continue with this statement here with a different color and multiply this quantity by 2. We don't have $1,000, we have $2,000. So take this quantity, multiply by 2. The reason I didn't do it is because it was, it was getting too crowded. But again, you multiply this by 2, you must multiply that by 2. That's it. And was, that was a very simple, straightforward uh, so, uh, problem, uh, problems rather, four problems of simple interest. Simple interest problems appear as easy questions, sometimes medium questions. Once we get into the hard questions, they begin to delve into compound interest, which is what we're going to do in the next video. We're going to do two or three problems dealing with compound interest tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.